Hey everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech again. And today we're going to be talking about, and I'm gonna show you how to restrict the leading messages on your iPhone. If you're worried about losing important messages, this video will help you ensure that your conversations are kept safe. So let's dive right in. First off, it's important to clarify what we mean by restricting message deletion. If you're looking to disable the option that manually delete text messages from a chat, unfortunately, that's not possible. The option to hold down on a message and click the delete button will always be there within the messages app. However, what I think you're referring to is preventing the automatic deletion of messages. This is a common concern as many people don't want their messages to be erased automatically after a certain period of time. To manage these settings, open the settings app on your iPhone and scroll down until you find the messages section. It is easily recognizable by its green icon with a text white bubble. So tap on it to get inside the messages section. Within the messages settings, there are many options to explore, but the one we are interested in today is called keep messages. This setting allows you to decide how long your messages should stay stored on your device. Tap on keep messages and you will see three options, 30 days, one year and forever. By default, your iPhone might be set to delete messages after 30 days or one year, but to prevent your messages from being automatically deleted, select the forever option. This will ensure that your messages are stored indefinitely on your device. Now, keep in mind that if you're using some third-party messaging apps like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, the process might be a bit different. These apps have their own settings for managing messages deletion and retention, so you'll need to explore those individual apps settings to adjust how messages are stored or deleted. Also, keep in mind that if you choose the forever option, this is going to clutter up your storage pretty fast because some videos and attachments like photos take up a lot of storage. So this is another thing to consider. But that's basically it. That's all what I wanted to show you. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a thumbs up on it, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out until then.